This is part two of enlarged peony flower head painting tutorial with watercolors. Let's continue painting this flower head. First layer was applied in part one. Some darker areas started, but now we will continue on applying more layers, more saturation, more darkness. And mostly in this part two, I will be working on the darker petal sections like inner parts or that uh, petal uh, sections were which ones are away from the light source leaving the lightest part of the petals which are completely exposed to light I will leave them untouched in this uh, part so we will have something for the next part as well but still a lot of work needs to be done this peony is very rich and saturated in color and to get this with watercolors it means many 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 and many more layers hope you have this patience if in some point you feel maybe you need a break that means you really need a break come back other time and continue this flower head is really impressive uh, the enlarged petals are not easy to work on so hope you will follow along and we will create a beautiful painting I'm starting here with the same color mixes I had in the first part oh, main co uh, color mix is permanent rose with lemon yellow second more violet is manganese violet with permanent rose working with the bigger synthetic brush round synthetic brush making more bigger brush strokes and starting to apply from the darkest area and then I wash my brush and carefully with clean and dry brush I smooth the applied area of watercolors and this is a great practice of how to make really smooth uh, and transitions of watercolors and mostly working I'm not here working on the details no details at all I'm constantly looking at my re reference seeing those darker areas and seeing those color changes, tonal changes, and working on them. No thin lines here, nothing. Also, the stamens in the middle part will not be painted in this part.
almost for one hour and this is part two of painting this flower head and still a lot of work needs to be done I am here finishing this part two uh, will continue to paint the same method a little bit longer on my own hope you do the same and repeating the same just building saturation in the darkest areas comparing petals doing the same just over and over again uh, nothing changes in the technique uh, if you are satisfied with the saturation of your flower still this is your painting you can decide when to stop with saturation you can just stop and wait uh, uh, I will soon create part three where we will be more working on details on the stamens and finishing this flower head I will work a little bit longer I want it to be more saturated in the darker areas and I will apply another layers of transparent watercolors thank you for being here thank you for painting with me this is a really advanced painting and asks a lot of um, patience a lot of effort to be put in this peony head but the result will be worth it guarantee you it's already looking good it's already looking more realistic than after first layers of uh, really transparent watercolors slowly we are approaching the finished result and thank you for being here hope you learned something new in this part two and see you in part three very very soon thank you and bye bye